afternoon and welcome to our 157th commencement ceremony. I am Dr. Rita Tolliver Roberts, Provost and Vice President of Academic Affairs and will serve as presiding officer. I now call to order these commencement exercises. <laughs> Kindly remain standing for our national anthem. I am pleased to formally recognize the class of 2022. I commend, yes. <laughs> I commend all of our students graduating today in person and online. To those participating virtually, please leave a comment in the live stream so those at home and members of the Pierce community can celebrate you. The Pierce College graduating class is 299 members strong. With 45 graduates in our master's programs and 254 graduates in our undergraduate programs. Graduates, we are very proud of all that you have accomplished, but I would also like to formally recognize the family and friends of our graduating class. We understand that our graduates have depended on you for support and encouragement throughout their journey. So for those here in person and those cheering on from home, let's hear it for the family and friends of the class of 2022. I'm also pleased to report that many members of the graduating class have received significant support from their employers. The list of organizations is too long to mention individually, however, please re refer to the screen. Let's also recognize all the women and men who serve in our military. Thank you for your service. The reputation of an institution is built on its quality programs, services, and graduates. The overseers of that quality are expert faculty, staff, and administration. I extend gratitude to the Pierce community for all that they do to support our students. The Pierce community remains steadfast and strong, growing leaders in healthcare, human services, criminal justice, technology, and business. We also continue to be proud of the advancements of the college that has been made to expand our master's programs and undergraduate programs. Most notably, our new Master's of Science in Business Administration program and our signature Career Bridge program where individuals can earn academic and industry recognized credentials. An institution depends on its board of trustees for guidance and support. 
The trustees titles and affiliations are noted in the commencement program. Joining us this afternoon are the following trustees. Trustees, please stand when your name is called. Tony Pergolin, board chair. Tom McLaughlin, class of 84. And Stephen Scott Bradley. Trustees, <laughs> trustees, thank you for your leadership and ongoing support. You may be seated. Please join me now in welcoming Pierce College President and CEO, Dr. Mary Ellen Caro. Thank you, Dr. Tolliver Roberts. And Greetings and congratulations to the class of 2022. It is truly wonderful to be here in person with all of you and your loved ones to celebrate your commencement. This is your day. Today we literally shine the lights on you and your incredible achievements. Your grit and determination in the face of unprecedented challenges have brought you to this point. You are inspirational, your stories are touching, and your enthusiasm contagious. You have my respect and admiration. In the past few years, you have had to learn how to work remotely in many cases, help your children learn remotely, been separated from your loved ones, and in some cases, elderly parents, and navigated through social unrest, and in some cases, the loss of employment or underemployment. But you, the class of 2022, continued to believe in better. Some of you are beginning your careers some changing your current career paths, some enhancing those current careers, and some completing unfinished personal business of earning your credential. What is most common among this class is that all of you have made an investment in yourselves through education. You are all amazing. Pierce College embodies an institutional history that, especially now, adds fitting context to this special event. Pierce was founded by an educator to support returning Civil War veterans transitioning during a time of great division and strife in the country. Pierce has been here for over 155 years throughout the tragic low points to common high points in our country's history. And we're here today in this ever challenging time to continue our mission to help people transform their lives and create a better future through education. At times, we grieve for the current state of our society. We stand in outrage against the systemic injustices we see and we are strengthened in our resolve to be a force in supporting the people and communities we serve, whether here in the Philadelphia area or across the country. As such, we are incredibly proud to continue to have the designation of being an adult minority serving institution. We cherish our mission. It is my honor to be the president of this great institution and to confer your well-deserved degrees. You are the reason this college exists. So today, relish your achievement, create new memories with your loved ones, and take a moment to reflect and connect with the energy and experience of this event. My very best wishes to each of you. Stay strong, 
and know that we are here for you today and always. Please now join me in welcoming the chair of the Pierce College Board of Trustees, Tony Pergolin, who will introduce the keynote speaker. Tony. Thank you, Dr. Caro, and good afternoon. My name is Tony Pergolin, and I'm the very proud chair of the Pierce College Board of Trustees, and I am pleased to introduce to you today our keynote speaker, Regina A. Hairston. Regina is the president and CEO of the African American Chamber of Commerce of Pennsylvania, New Jersey, and Delaware. In her time leading the AACC, Regina has facilitated the launch of programs to increase and provide direct access to capital, developed a unique peership and mentorship program, and leveraged corporate partnerships for the success of the Chamber's members. Regina's efforts on behalf of the Chamber have been featured in the Philadelphia Inquirer, the Philadelphia Tribune, and many other publications. She's also named one of Philadelphia Magazines of 2021 Most Influential People in Philadelphia, and in the Philadelphia Business Journal's Power 100. Regina is a graduate of St. Joe's University, having received her bachelor's degree with a focus in political science and public relations. She's also received a Master of Public Administration degree from the University of Pennsylvania. The Pierce College Board of Trustees awarded Regina A. Hairston an honorary degree, a doctorate of humane letters as our 157th keynote commencement speaker. Please join me in congratulating and welcoming Dr. Regina A. Hairston. Good afternoon. I'm grateful for that warm introduction and profoundly humbled to join the Pierce College community in today's celebration. To the family and friends of the class of 2022, welcome and thank you for sharing this special day with today's graduates. To the president and board of trustees of Pierce College, I am incredibly honored by the award of this degree and delighted by your invitation to address this unique class. My name is Regina A. Hairston, and I'm the proud president and CEO of the African American Chamber of Commerce of Pennsylvania, New Jersey, and Delaware. Every day, I shape our future through building conditions that enable black-owned businesses to grow and thrive. I humbly stand before you as the 157th keynote speaker of Pierce College. A decade ago, I was sitting in your shoes accepting my degree. I was a newly minted graduate with years of professional experience under my belt. Only I was older than many of my peers while completing my four-year degree. So I'm here to tell you with confidence and sincerity, don't let that stop you. It's not about where you start or when you start, but where you end up, and perhaps most importantly, how you leverage your degree to accomplish your goals. I'm proof of that. In preparation for today, I was privileged to meet with a group of students that exemplify the exceptional perseverance this class has demonstrated. With resilience, tenacity, and merit, I listened and learned of the journey some of you have had. I know your path to this point may not have been an easy one. You've certainly overcome no shortage of obstacles, whether it be small inconveniences of our pandemic, such as hybrid learning, mass mandates, vaccine cards, and the countless black squares of Zoom rooms. Or perhaps the impact of the pandemic has been far greater the effect of an economic recession, a social uprising against racial injustice, and the irreconcilable loss of life were enough to stop any and all pursuits. I would like to take this opportunity to honor the lives lost from COVID-19, especially those who were loved ones of graduates and their families. Through grief, sickness, and strife, you've made it to the beginning of your next road. No, not a road to your degree, but to whatever's in store next. Your journey is what matters. Your story is still being written. This includes the story of our youngest graduate, who is 21 years old, and the most senior graduate, who is 66. 
This includes the journey of our very first student graduating with a graduate certificate in nonprofit leadership. This includes the journey of all 21 veterans and eight bridge scholars. Let us celebrate that you're here. Let us celebrate that you've done it. Let us celebrate that you've reached the finish line, or rather you've reached one finish line because there's always another around the corner. Over these last few years, for all of us, stepping into the unknown has hardly been a choice. It's been a fact of life. If the pandemic has taught us anything, it's that change is constant, the only constant in our world, some may say. So I'm here to share with you a profound lesson to be learned from this pandemic's common thread of shared struggle and personal resilience. Life, to a great extent, is about growing comfortable with uncertainty. When I moved to Philadelphia in 2003, I had little idea what would come next. Like a lot of you, I had taken a long hiatus from college. When I eventually enrolled in a program at Community College of Philadelphia, my circumstances were on the surface daunting. I was a wife, a mother to a teenage son, and a young daughter, and a 30-something full-time worker. I was also tenacious, determined, and ready. Soon, I got my associate's degree from CCP, then my bachelor's at St. Joe's, and eventually a master's from the University of Pennsylvania. Along the way, like many of you, my academic career evolved alongside my personal path. I navigated the workforce as a black woman in mid-level management, raising her children, and learning to advocate for a child who learns differently. Whether in the classroom or your community, I encourage you to always follow your journey with bravery and openness towards the next iteration of yourself. We know that Thomas May Pierce founded this institution in 1865, having a vision for empowering people from different walks of life through increased access to education. Undeniably, Pierce College has remained a beacon of opportunity for working adults for more than a century and a half has stood for breaking down barriers, and has upheld a commitment to fearless inclusivity as an institution. As alumni, you all must carry those principles with you and fight for them in Philadelphia and far beyond. This vision is near to me, and I believe in transformative leadership that lifts others and drives impact, which I've done at every step along the way of my career, whether I had a title or not. My career has taken me so many places in the years since I went back to school. I've stuck to a few guiding principles that I wanted to share with you today. Never close any doors prematurely. Never doubt yourself. Always keep your feet moving. And if you must take no for an answer, treat that no as a no, not right now, because nothing is forever. Following this advice has led me down a privileged and rewarding career path. It's taken me from interning in city council to running a STEM academy, working as the director of giving at a private Catholic high school, and devising a strategy for the head of a Fortune 500 company. The last one, by the way, was Howard Schultz, the CEO of Starbucks. So no matter where you go from here, entrepreneurship, government, nonprofits, corporations, I hope you carry that vision because there's nothing more powerful than paying it forward. You already know how to persevere, and you already know how to fight with yours. Make sure you help others get there too. People will see your degrees, titles, and ambition, but they won't see all the hard work and sacrifice it took. Only you know how far you've come. Another piece of advice I urge you to consider is to own your struggles, but don't let them define you. Be brave. Step into uncertainty with the utmost confidence in your abilities. Hearing these words can be overwhelming, so I'm going to take a moment to repeat that advice from earlier one more time and hope that you carry it forward in your journey, class of 2022. Never close any doors prematurely. Never doubt yourself. Always keep your feet moving. And if you must take no for an answer, treat that no as a no, not right now, because nothing is forever. Your graduation today in this moment in our society reminds us that these ideals are more important now than ever. 
You have the power to create new pathways for yourselves and others, so long as you never downplay your resourcefulness and determination. After all, embracing uncertainty doesn't mean that you're resigning yourself to a tumultuous path. It's precisely the opposite. Uncertainty teaches us to be curious, thoughtful, and accept contradiction in its purest forms rather than resting on our own laurels. A life of uncertainty is a life of ongoing learning. With that, graduates, keep moving forward with bravery and humility while advocating for what's right, because that's the true definition of success. I'm proud of every one of you for completing your journey here at Pierce, and I am looking forward to the bright future each of you is helping to create. Thank you, and congratulations to the class of 2022. Good afternoon. I am Dr. Shannon Begley, Dean of Academic Advising and Registrar, and I am delighted to introduce our student speaker, Adrian Bautista. Adrian is a native of Philadelphia, a mother of two adult children, and a research business administrator at the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. She is also a playwright, a published poet, workshop facilitator, founder and CEO of Just the Pen LLC, founder of Just the Pen Foundation, founder and facilitator of the Sister Strength Symposium, and creator and host of Talks with Just the Pen. Adrienne started her journey at Pierce in 2016 and is graduating with a Bachelor of Arts in Liberal Studies and a certification in Client Services. She is also a member of the Delta Mu Delta Honor Society. Adrian plans to pursue a master's in business administration in the fall. Please welcome Ms. Adrian Bautista. Good afternoon. My name is Adrian Bautista, and I am very honored and pleased to be the student commencement speaker. To the faculty and staff, thank you for your patience, partnership, and for seeing in us the ability to finish and finish strong. To my fellow classmates, I salute you for your diligence, tenacity, and your perseverance. It is in that spirit of never giving up that we are now gathered here as the 2022 graduates. And certainly not least, I give glory, honor, and praise to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, for whom I would not even be here if it were not for him. I would like to share with you a quote by Eric Thomas. I realize that the secret to success is finishing not just finishing, but finishing strong. My parents never had the opportunity to finish their education. Neither of them earned a high school diploma, yet they encouraged us to go forth. They desired for us to become successful and achieve our dreams. With this in mind, my mantra has been, finish what you started. Those are four words that I have been saying to both of my children, now 21 and 25, from the time they first attempted something on their own. And as many parents can attest to, children will often give back to you what you've given to them in some form or fashion. Both of my children have reminded me of this simple, yet powerful charge, not just to finish, but that I possessed what I needed to finish. To my two heartbeats, Kalito and Pilar, from the depths of my soul and from the center of my heart, thank you for reminding me 
that you are watching and for giving back to me what I have given to you in encouragement and in support. Perhaps you too, my fellow graduates, have people who are important to you in your life and who have helped you get to this point. I started my journey over 21 years ago, first as an employee and student at Thomas Jefferson University before becoming a student here at Pierce. There were many times I wanted to just throw in the towel, especially as life happened, and it took everything in me just to show up for that. Through a series of starts and stops, which included having children, becoming a caretaker to my mother, who I would later lay to rest, starting and stopping new positions at work, and then starting life over as a divorced parent of two teen children. I've learned the definition of perseverance on a totally different level. Yet my faith and those four strong words, finish what you started have delivered me to this day. Entering into partnership with the phenomenal advisors, staff, and professors here at Pierce has been one of the best decisions in the pursuit of finishing my higher education. Often when I was exhausted and unsure if I could continue, my advisor, Danielle Frank, would join my home team, my children, family, and friends by cheering me on and reminding me that I could do it. She and I shared numerous emails and phone calls with me frantically saying, I need a quicker way to finish. <laughs> At the end of each of those interactions, I left feeling reassured that I didn't have much longer to go. There were two professors in particular who have been instrumental in the completion of this part of my journey. Thank you, Dr. Gail DiGiacomo, for sharing time and space with me so selflessly before class. And thank you, Dr. Charlene Glenn, for sharing experiences and for making emotional intelligence and leadership so interesting that I want to dig deeper into it for my future. My experience, though unique to me, is illustrative of the many ways that the Pierce faculty care for all of us. With this in mind, on behalf of my fellow graduates, I would like to take this time to thank each and every faculty and staff member for all that you have contributed towards this important milestone in our lives. Because I have had this rich opportunity to now proudly say that I am a graduate of Pierce College, I've made the decision to continue my educational pursuit by pursuing a graduate degree in organizational leadership and management. Positioning myself, thank you. Positioning myself to mentor and train others in my field of research administration. What better way to practice reciprocity than by offering to someone four simple but potentially life-altering words, finish what you started. In closing, I'd like to encourage each of you gathered here now to remember that we were all created with purpose and a specific journey unique to us, but with success as an important part of the equation. Regardless of your age, gender, or your background, you have what it takes to finish what you started. Have the courage to start. Never give up in your pursuit. Gather your team who will not just cheer you on, but who will support you and also remind you that no matter what comes or what goes, you have what it takes to finish what you started. Thank you so much, and God bless you all.
As the 2020 Hamilton awardee, I have the honor of announcing the 2022 Hamilton Award recipient. Each year, the college takes this opportunity to recognize a faculty member or academic administrator who exemplifies academic excellence and integrity. The Hamilton family created an endowment that funds the award. It is named for Dr. William J. Hamilton, former vice president and dean of Pierce College. Dr. Hamilton helped to build the strong reputation of the college during his many years of service to Pierce. A committee of peers at the college selects the awardee each year. As a member of the Pierce College community since 2016, this year's recipient is a highly respected academic leader. The recipient exemplifies Pierce's core values by embracing academic innovation, accepting new challenges, and connecting the Pierce community to opportunities that benefit students. This year's recipient has transformed library program programming by re-envisioning the delivery of services to best support adult and virtual learners. In addition, our recipient has been devoted to reducing the costs of textbooks, assisting in the removal of financial barriers to students' enrollment. Under her leadership, the college has been awarded several grants that have supported faculty in redeveloping courses that now include free educational resources. As you can see, this recipient's leadership and dedicated partnership with many members of the Pierce community has resulted in outstanding transformational outcomes. I am honored and happy to announce our 2022 Hamilton Award recipient, my colleague, Kristen Inciardi. Pierce College is privileged to honor members of the graduating class who have distinguished themselves in their chosen fields of study. We will now present the special awards in the order in which they appear in your program. Beginning with the Alumni Association, Raymond L. Polzer Award, Class of 52, Academic Leadership Award. Good afternoon. I am Tracy Thomas, Associate Dean of Student Support Services, and I am pleased to present the following awards for students' academic achievements and or leadership. The Raymond L. Palzer Alumni Association Academic Leadership Award is presented to Tiffany Clifton Reed, congratulations, Veronica Sapp, Congratulations, and Larry Meehan. Congratulations. The Pennsylvania Institute of Certified Public Accountants Award is presented to Michelle Hall. Congratulations. The Mary W. Walker 33 Center for Academic Excellence Award is presented to Barbara Bell. Congratulations. The Accreditation Council for Business Schools and Programs Student Leadership Award is presented to Janelle Shaw. Congratulations. The Margaret Obosian Excellence in Writing Award is presented to Melissa Rossiter. The Patricia A. Rucker Graduate Studies Award for Academic Excellence is presented to Leah Gill. Congratulations.
Okay, the time that we have been waiting for. We will now begin the roll call of candidates. I, I am pleased to report that many students in the class of 2022 have earned academic honors through their hard work and dedication. Academic honors will be read with candidates' names. Our faculty chairs will conduct the roll call starting with our graduate studies programs. Good afternoon. I am Dr. Adrian Zapala, Professor and Dean of Graduate Studies. I am pleased to call the role of our Master of Science in Healthcare Administration, Master of Science in Organizational Leadership and Management, and Graduate Certificate in Operations Management candidates for graduation. President Kara, I have the honor of recommending to you the following list of candidates for graduation. These candidates have met all the requirements for the Master of Science degree and graduate certificate programs. The Master of Science candidates for healthcare administration are <laughs> You know, I've done this before, but <laughs> Rashida D. Bailey. Jamika Johnson. Anastasia Maltseva. <laughs> Ceci Wesu Aden. <laughs> Natalie Chandaki. <laughs> Katina L. Hoskins. Tiffany Clifton Reed. Shade L. Dockett. Leah Shamir Gill. The Master of Science candidates for organizational leadership and management are. Alicia A. Long. <laughs> Jeremiah Laster. Lori P. Fraser. Stephen Nunez. Tanae K. Robinson. Nisha F. Lee. Ray D. Goldsboro. Joseph Michael Durante. Tonya B. Grant. Jasmine S. Cambridge. Anthony D. Cedrone. Joel Baumgartner. Malika Diana McMillan. Ayana Amira Abdullah. Amika Miller. Robin Johnson. Please also refer to the screen for the list of candidates for graduation who are participating this afternoon virtually. 
These candidates have also met the requirements for our healthcare administration, organizational leadership and management, and graduate certificate programs. Thank you. Hello, I'm Dr. Stephanie Donovan, faculty chair and professor, health programs. I am pleased to call the role of healthcare administration, health information administration, health information technology, human services leadership, and medical coding candidates for graduation. President Caro, I have the honor of recommending to you the following list of candidates for graduation. These candidates have met all the requirements for the Bachelor of Science degree, Associate in Science degree, or Certificate of Proficiency. The Bachelor of Science candidates for healthcare administration are Amneris I. Mojica. <laughs> Leslie Harris. Lena Kominsky. Aldrena Sierra Dover. Veronica Elizabeth Sapp, summa cum laude. Marguerite LaFortune Yetna, summa cum laude. Rashida Y. Outlaw. Shakira Felder. Health Information Technology. The Associate in Science candidates for Health Information Technology. The Bachelor of Science candidates for Healthcare Administration, Guillermo Lefuer Dennison. <laughs> Deneen N. Robinson. <laughs> Tara White. <laughs> Mohammed Ghulam Rasul Almamin, magna cum laude. Danielle Nicole Branch. Shawanda Levon. Diana Stokes Bacon. Karen Holmes, cum laude. Maria Young. The Associate in Science candidates for Health Information Technology are Tiffany L. Turner, summa cum laude. <laughs> Talita Oliveira, cum laude. Erin N. Real. Stacy Green. Tanisha A. Bell, cum laude. Afrika Kashida Henderson. Jamea N. Brayboy. I got in a groove. <laughs> Jamea N. Brayboy. Alana Gibbs. Joaquina Gary. The Bachelor of Science candidates for Human Services Leadership are Amanda, Ananda M. Brown, cum laude. Wee <laughs> Chen. Yeah. 
The candidates for the Certificate of Proficiency in Medical Coding are Marlene J. Loudermilk, <laughs> Aliyah Denae O'Connor, Aisha T. Hamilton, Please also refer to the screen for the list of candidates for graduation who are participating this afternoon virtually. These candidates have also met the requirements for our Health Care Administration, Health Information Administration, Health Information Technology, Human Services Leadership, and Medical Coding Programs. Thank you. And we save the best for last. <laughs> Hello, I am Dr. Linda Curry, Program Manager and Associate Professor of General Studies. I am pleased to call the role of Liberal Studies and General Studies candidates for graduation. President Caro, I have the honor of recommending to you the following list of candidates for graduation. These candidates have met all the requirements for the Bachelor of Arts degree and the Associate of Arts degree. The Bachelor of Arts candidates for liberal studies are Adrian D. Bautista. Adrian Bautista is also receiving a certificate in client services this evening. <laughs> Wendy Davis. <laughs> Magna cum laude. <laughs> Wendy is also receiving a certificate in human resources management. <laughs> there is more. A certificate in client services and a Certificate in Quality Service Management. <laughs> Donya Jean-Baptiste. <laughs> Donya is also receiving a Certificate in Human Resource Management. Stephanie Williams. <laughs> Shawante Elijah Tucker. Shawante is also receiving a certificate in medical coding. Barbara Ann Bell, magna cum laude. Earl D. Morgan. <laughs> Earl is also receiving an Associate in Science Information Technology with a Certificate in Cybersecurity. <laughs> Tierra P. Handy. <laughs> Tyrone Green, cum laude. Shanice N. Williams, <laughs> cum laude. Abebe H. Deloach. <laughs> the Associate in Arts candidates for General Studies are Alexander McDermott, <laughs> summa cum laude.
In addition to being our entertainer this evening, <laughs> Alexander is also receiving a graduate certificate in nonprofit leadership. <laughs> and Dina Marie Reed. Please also refer to the screen for the list of candidates for graduation who are participating this afternoon virtually. These candidates have also met the requirements for our liberal studies and general studies programs. That was fun. <laughs> okay, as the president of Pierce College, I have the distinct honor of conferring degrees on our graduates. Candidates on stage and in our virtual audience, please stand. Absolutely. <laughs> Candidates, by the power vested in me by the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania and the Board of Trustees of Pierce College, I officially recognize and confer the Master of Science degree, Bachelor of Science degree, Bachelor of Arts degree, Associate in Science degree, Associate in Arts degree, or the Certificate of Proficiency on you as graduates of Pierce College, class of 2022. <clears throat> in, recog in recognition of that achievement, you may now move your tassels from right to left. Congratulations. It's a great looking class. I am very pleased. You can you can sit down. They deserve it. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, and please take your seats. This is a fun crowd. I am very pleased to call upon Mr. Stephen Amster, <laughs> class of 2016 and president of the Pierce College Alumni Association to formally induct the class of 2022 into the Alumni Association. Steve? Thank you, Dr. Carroll. Mm -hmm. oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. Good afternoon. I'm Stephen Amster president of the Alumni Association. I am pleased to officially welcome you into Pierce College Alumni Association. As president of the association, I ask you to stay in touch with the college and I pledge that we will work to help you keep close ties with each other individually and the Pierce alumni community as a whole. We also encourage our associate graduates to continue towards your bachelor's degree. And our, gra and, and our, master's grad and our bachelor graduates to continue on to your master's degree. Joining the many double and triple graduates 
of the Pierce College community. It is indeed an honor to induct each of you as members in good standing in the Pierce College Alumni Association. Congratulations and best of luck to you in your future endeavors. On behalf of Dr. Regina Harrison, the trustees, faculty, staff, and administration of Pierce College, I extend congratulations on the class of 2022. Family and friends, kindly remain at your seats until the graduates have exited. exited. Graduates, please enjoy the sound of happy as you proceed out of the theater. These ceremonies have now ended. It might seem 